G'day everyone, Greg here. Now, it is breakfast time, and what better thing to have for breakfast than an omelette? They are so simple and easy to make. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I like to make this beautiful cottage cheese omelette. That's right, cottage cheese in an omelette. Normally, you put normal everyday cheddar or whatever. This time, I'm using cottage cheese, and well, whew, gotta tell you, I've been eating this quite regularly lately, and it is so good. It's so creamy. You might think it probably doesn't sound good, but believe me, follow this recipe and you'll be a convert like I am. Anyway, super simple, easy to make. Let's check the ingredients. So basically all I'm using is some bacon. Oh yeah, look at this stuff. A couple of eggs, a tomato. I've got cottage cheese here. And of course I'll be using some butter. Mm, I love this stuff. Now, just for something a little bit different, I will be adding in some chili as well, and of course some pepper. I'm using white pepper today because it matches not only my hair, my beard, but also my shirt. Now, I'm using a fairly small frying pan today. You can use a normal size one, but what I'll first do is turn that on to a sort of high-ish heat. And let's start cutting up some ingredients. I'll start off with the bacon. I just want to cut this into like manageable bits. I guess you could leave it whole if you really wanted to. But I'm just gonna cut it into chunks. Now don't worry if they're not like all perfectly symmetrical. It's not an oil painting. That's all we need to do. And to the frying pan where I'll add some butter. Hopefully it won't burn. No. Good. Well it sort of is. Don't burn too much. Quickly add that bacon in. Start that cooking. Mmm, it's cooked already. Yeah, not really. But there's just one other thing I'm going to cut up as well, and that's the tomato. Now you could use cherry tomatoes for this. That'd be awesome. Just cut them in half. I've just got a small tomato here. You don't want too much tomato, because too much tomato might be too much. So. Just a quick chop and into the mix that goes. So we're just going to let that cook for a while and while that's cooking let's prepare the eggs. So a couple of eggs. Try and get it so like no shells go in. Now some people like to add a little bit of milk in their eggs. You can if you want. You don't have to though. I probably shouldn't have. But anyway, something else I want to add in here is some chili. Now, I can't read Chinese, but this is like a crispy chili. This one's really nice. It's got like nice little flavors to it. And I'll just add a little bit of that in. Like, you don't have to add it, but I just like adding things like that. I do like chili. And my white pepper, I'll just add a couple of dashes of that. I'm a big fan of white pepper. It's very underrated. Some people think it's hotter. Some people think it's spicier. I just think it tastes really good. I can hear the bacon popping over there. This is coming together really nicely. So I'll just give that a few more minutes, let it reduce a little bit. Get that bacon looking a little bit browner. Oh, boy, it's popping out everywhere. That must mean it's ready. So, let's throw in the eggs. I'll give it a shake. That'll allow that egg to get under the tomato and the bacon. And what I'll do is reduce the heat too, down to about halfway. We don't want it to overcook now. We just gotta cook this until it gets well enough cooked on top. If it's not doing it fast enough, you know, you can always tilt it. Get the runny bits to run down and solidify. Now that runniness in the middle sort of disappearing. There's still a little bit left. If you can and want to flip it over, please be my guest. You're more than welcome to. I couldn't be bothered because I'll probably ruin it. 
but it doesn't really have to be fully cooked in the middle because eventually it will all become fully cooked in the end. So now it's time to grab your cottage cheese and over one half I'll start placing this cottage cheese. Don't be afraid to put quite a bit because I mean it tastes so good and it turns really really creamy. That should do. So now what I'll do is just, if I can, without stuffing this up, get the old spatula and a half of it and flip it over. Well, I could have done a better job than that, couldn't I? Ah, well, that's what I was dealt with today. So now I'll just turn the heat off. I'll take this off the heat and just put it aside and let it cool down. There's still quite a bit of heat left in that frying pan so everything will still cook. But once that's cooled down, you know what time it is. It'll be time to dive on in for the old cottage, cottage cheese, cheese, bacon, bacon and, and tomato, tomato. Taste, taste test. test. Here's that omelette. Shall I try flipping it over? See what it looks like on the other side. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, well, there's that cottage cheese on that I just whipped up. How easy was it? So let's take a look inside. I don't know, can you see much there? Not too sure. But I'm sure it would have looked good with a little bit of green stuff on top, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, let's dive on in and give this a go. Mm. Oh man. Oh wow. That cottage cheese has just got all creamy. Mmm. It's so delicious. You're probably thinking warm cottage cheese. Yes. It tastes really good and it goes perfectly with bacon, tomato and eggs. Mate, make sure you give it a go. It's pretty keto friendly too, so if you're on a keto diet, maybe just leave the tomatoes out, but this would be perfect for that. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. If you do make it, let me know how yours turned out. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time for my next video right here on Greg's Kitchen. See you then. Ooh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where today I made a delicious omelette using cream cottage cheese. I also had bacon as well, and butter, it was.